What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of the Hit The Road Madeira vlog, the greatest vlog in the world. And today, we're in Camara de Lobos, or tonight, should I say. It's uh, 20 past nine uh, in a July, mid-July evening, and it's still kind of clear. So, very typically summer here in Madeira, shorts and t-shirt, we're having a great time. And um, Camara de Lobos is looking particularly beautiful today. So we're gonna go inside, learn a little bit about Camara de Lobos, taste some things, maybe drink some things, and uh, show you guys around. Let's go. This behind me is one of my favorite pieces of art, not only in Camara de Lobos, but really in the whole of Madeira. This is a Bordalo II that we have here in Madeira. Artur Bordalo is a Portuguese street artist and this guy actually creates these pieces of animals, right? He creates these big pieces of animals all from junk. They're usually very colorful. There's actually one in Funchal that's a big fish. Uh, I've seen a couple of others in Lisbon and uh, they're all uh, these super cool animals and colorful looking animals. And this guy, he calls himself Bordalo II because his grandfather was Bordalo I. And this was his kind of uh, initiation into art. He learned a lot inside of his grandfather's studio, apparently. And the art that he creates is a reflection of our society, what he calls our greedy society, uh, which of course he also takes part of. And he calls it the, the greedy society because he makes these, these pieces of art with junk, what he calls junk. And that's kind of the idea that he wants to portray to the world that there's too much junk in the world and that we're obsessed with capturing junk. But this is a Lobo Marinho, the monk seal, which the whole of Camara de Lobos is actually named after the monk seal. Camara de Lobos, the camera is like a cove. It can mean a cove, it can also mean a council kind of thing, you know, like government. Um, but in this case, it means a cove, and they used to call this the Cove of Wolves. Um, this being the sea wolf, the Lobo Marinho. If this is the first time you see me in glasses, you're probably correct, all right? I think this is the first vlog. No? We have, is there another vlog? Ah, uh, during the big walk. Ah, when we went to the Azores, I had glasses on, yeah. So usually I wear contact lenses. For my job, it's great, because I can put sunglasses on and whatever. But it's been a really long day today. We're working like crazy. By the way, if you haven't booked your tour, book now, because we're turning people away. But we'll talk about that later. Um, what I wanted to show you is how pretty this is looking because it's the fasted San Pedro. Um, now, I'm not very, um, you know, religiously, uh, how do I say, uh, studied, maybe? Is that the right, is that the right word? Uh, my knowledge of religious history is very limited. And uh, over here, in Madeira, usually I make a little joke and I say that there are two major religions that we have the Catholics and the alcoholics, right? So the Catholics and the alcoholics in the summer kind of unite and they make these festas uh, populares, sanch populares, the, 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 the saintly uh, parties, which the only thing saintly about it is all the booze and the food that's uh, that's out there. <laughs> But uh, usually it's a great excuse to have a party in different villages in Madeira and this is one of the, the parties from Camara de Lobos. So Festa San Pedro, I think this is one of the first ones that we've actually seen um, post-Covid kind of thing. Because of course all of those were cancelled last year. So um, not quite sure what to expect. It's actually this weekend that they're going to have uh, some fireworks and music I believe. So it'll be interesting to see. But right now, 
Um, it is a Tuesday evening and I thought I'd take you in and, and show you around. So uh, let's, let's do just that. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. I think what you need there is a couple of jeeps, you know, the easy jet flying around. I think just got you just just a little just a little jeep over there. Yeah. Okay. It's not responsive. <laughs> no. Fancy glass of Madeira, Mr. Churchill. No? Maybe he doesn't like it. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave. This is getting lame. The past couple of years, Covenant Lawbers has become a little bit more of a touristic uh, destination, so to speak. They've just built a nice fancy hotel right on the bay, the Pastana Churchill Bay, uh, which looks quite interesting. And of course, uh, we're starting to see all these little developments and we're starting to see more people that are not locals coming to come to Lawbush. If you had come here a couple of years ago, you really would have only found local people flocking here, um, not only for good fish, but also for the poncha, which we'll get to later. But now it's lunchtime. We're gonna have one of Madeira's most iconic and traditional dishes. We're going to have the black scabbard fish with banana, hopefully. Uh, we're gonna try a new place that I've never tried. Probably a good time to let you guys know to like and subscribe to the channel because there's gonna be loads more videos like this coming. So do that right now uh, while we go for, for dinner, right? <laughs> This is the scabbard fish, the famous black scabbard fish. And for those of you who have been following our vlog, then you will know that we have just started at the gym a couple of weeks ago. So uh, we got a diet from our personal trainer and it means that during the week there are no extras and we're taking it pretty, pretty seriously. So no banana for me today and all I get is salad. But the fish, the black scabbard is actually a very, very healthy fish and there's loads of great vitamins and it's fished right off of our coast. For a long time, people thought that the black scabbard fish was only fished here. It's a very deep fish and a very uh, mysterious fish. So it can go as deep as 1700 meters uh, below sea level. So um, there's a lot of things that we don't know about this fish, but we have found that there are other places that have black scabbard fish. And uh, here in Madeira, it's uh, kind of really infused in our culture. And I think that this is probably one of the only places in the world that has such a big culture around black scabbard with banana. It's very typically a Madeiran thing. And um, this one's grilled and it's pretty tasty. We're at, uh, what is it called, Gavião? Gavião. Gavião restaurant, Gavião in Camarade Lobos. And uh, pretty decent. They gave us also some mayonnaise, which I'm sure is delicious. But it's staying off the menu. Andrei, bon appetit, man. Well, Camarade Lobos is buzzing. It's a Tuesday afternoon and uh, loads of people out and about again. It's so awesome to see so many people out in Madeira and things happening. If on any other day, if you had seen the, the Jeff from a couple of weeks ago, we would have finished off this epic vlog with an epic poncha. Of course, poncha is from Camera de Lobos and that will have to be for another video. Uh, I, it's not blasphemy, you know, because I've had so many ponches in Camarade Lobos already, so I really don't feel bad. We're going after a diet and we're transformating the body. So, uh, unfortunately, no ponche for me today. But when you're in Camarade de Lobos, make sure to try out the poncha somewhere here. Get some spada. 
It's a beautiful little village. Let me know in the comments what you think about Camarade de Lobos. If you're from Camarade de Lobos, share the video with all your friends. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for a tour guide in Madeira, then look no further. We are the best tour company in the world that happens to be in Madeira. Remember to book your tours early. We are already fully booked for the next two weeks, right? Tomorrow morning, I've got a sunrise tour. I got another tour straight after that, and then I got another sunrise tour the next day. Uh, basically, long story short, I got eight tours in seven days, and I've had to book my own day off, otherwise it would get booked up. So book early. If you head over to our website, you'll get 21% off everything booked this year. So even if you're coming next year, you can still book your tour this year and get 21% off. This discount will disappear next year. And please don't forget when you are booking the discount to make sure to put the promo code right at checkout because people are booking tours with me just automatically assuming that they're getting the 21% off and then they're watching our videos and going, oh, I didn't put in the promo code and then they write to me back and asking me for a 21% refund. For those of you who have done that, it's all good. But I'm saying for those future ones, please, please, I don't like refunds, man. You know, like we've been through a catastrophic uh, pandemic in our industry. And when we hear the word refund, we go a little bit like, ugh. So <laughs> please, please don't make me refund your 21%. Use the promo code, like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in Madeira next week, Monday, seven o'clock, the next YouTube video. That's it, vlog done, over and out.